Howdy folks, this video presentation is about drop survey. Have you ever wondered how ships cargo and their displacement are computed? In general, most type of ships and their cargo can be calculated by three typical means. Number one, the cargo to be loaded is spray weight before they are shipped including their containers, crates, cradles, attached securing platforms, etc. However, these are only applicable for ships like container ships, car carrier, and others. And in some cases, the values are not declared properly. Number two, in vessels like tankers such as oil, LPG, LNG, and chemical tankers, can be calculated through the cargo densities, temperatures, vapor pressures. And number three, while for bulk cargoes, which is normally carried in bulk, these cargoes are not possible to weight in like a typical weighing scale, but instead it is the ships itself through the drop markings is used to find how much cargo was loaded and likewise the total displacement of the weight of the ship. Click on the pop-up link in the upper right corner to have a layman's understanding on how ships are weighed in. To begin with, let's lay out the drop survey procedures. The process as follows. First, conducting drop survey. Draft reading is the most critical activity in drop survey processes. Second, once survey is done, then computation or calculation follows. Third, data gathering or preparation such as a. Ships particular, B. Readings from the survey, and C. Calculation procedures. In addition, we need to establish some terminologies from nomenclatures or diagrams. Terms and definition. Example, FPV. The forward perpendicular is defined as a vertical line passing through the intersection of the design load water line and the forward face of the ship's stem. AP. The after perpendicular or aft perpendicular, noted AP, is a line drawn perpendicularly to the load line through the after side of the rudder post or through the axis of the rudder stack. Drop marks. They are marked on both sides, forward, midships, and aft. Readings are taken on both sides and average. They can be represented in meters or feet. Here are some essential equipment needed in drop survey. 1. Hydrometer. 2. Sounding tape. Water and oil phase. 3. Computer or calculators and packet notebooks, four flashlight and five life jackets, while doing the reading through the boat with conventional draft readings. Right. So in this demonstration, uh, the uh, chief officer and of course the uh, DS or uh, draft surveyor will be uh, going on board on a boat uh, which is just uh, close to the uh, vessel. And as we can see here, the uh, boat is so service boat is now about to proceed and uh, approaching the forward starboard side of the uh, vessel so we are here on the starboard bow and you could see here the drop markings and you can see there's a little bit of swell and uh, in most cases if uh, we are in a place wherein there's uh, a lot of winds and uh, waves then the swell could be a little bit worse while if you are uh, inside harbors that are uh, course calm then the readings will be a little uh, far more accurate and here uh, you can see also that the water is clear and this is the beach drop on the starboard side so now we proceed to the uh, uh, aft uh, starboard side uh, drop readings uh, in this case uh, we'll just skip this vessel so that I could show you also the other side of the other uh, model ship in this uh, presentation so we are now proceeding just about now um, because the boat is not that fast it takes a while because we are actually uh, going to the uh, other uh, side of the boat or terminal and this is the uh, vessel MV Polaris right. so now we are approaching on her port side and as you can see this is the draft markings on the aft port side of MB Polaris. It's about uh, let's see, uh, 8 .8 to 8.8 or 8.9. Right. So now we'll uh, take also a reading on the midship drop so on her port side again of course. So we are now approaching the uh, port side of the uh, vessel and this is the drop markings on her port side. It's uh, almost the same. It's about 8.8 .8 as well. You can see that the water is so clear that you could even read the uh, 
markings uh, beneath or under the water. And so uh, the last uh, note that we should uh, take a look is the uh, port bow uh, drop markings. And as we approach, well, we don't usually uh, take the readings accurately. This is just a demonstration. And as you can see as well, we can uh, read uh, along the terminal or through the uh, wharf. Here we go. We have the forward drop on the port side of this vessel. And we'll just uh, check around. Make it quick a little bit. There we go. And be able to see also the uh, which drop on her fourth side because uh, the other vessel as well uh, you could see uh, if we go to the uh, stern uh, area on her starboard side you will be able to see there you go yeah it's about the same uh, as it was in the other side almost the same we are a little bit uh, listed on the, and of course on the midship drop as well it's quite tight here so we might not be able to see it it's the configuration of the terminal unlike this one uh, the uh, we have uh, area where in uh, it's clearly seen so uh, you will be able also to uh, do a draft readings by other means like the one that has been invented by uh, uh, SGS, uh, the so-called drop uh, survey tool which is uh, being shown in this uh, uh, video um, and also another uh, innovation at, uh, on board ships by a uh, certain uh, chief officer I'm not sure if these are officially being utilized or approved by authorities but uh, I think if uh, the draft surveyor is uh, agreeable with the uh, ship's representative, especially the chief officer, then the reading uh, method can be utilized. I have to check with the regulations anyway. I'm not sure about that but I think it is possible to do so because uh, like I said uh, SGS has already uh, long, some some years ago, has already uh, put it uh, on the market. The so-called DTS or drop tool, a uh, drop survey tools, as shown in the video. So well, anyway, uh, check on part two so that we can now proceed with the uh, computation and calculations and the rest of the information and data, including the terminologies that are needed. So uh, yeah. Uh, just click on part 2 series